Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about debt and on Valorant console and how to play her effectively. So let's get right into the video. So Jet, who is Jet? What is she? Okay. So Jet and the role of Valorant is she's an entry duelist who pretty much disrupts the enemy's timing when it comes to outplaying individuals. Okay. So your goal as a Jet is to make sure the opposing team is super uncomfortable when you're facing her. Okay. Okay. Her fights, when she gates in gunfights, should not be out in the open, 1v1ing, and it should be super fair at all. It should not be. Okay. When you're gudging in 1v1 gunfights, your role as a jet is to make these gunfights to be one sided to yourself as possible. Most gunfights are 50-50. Your role as a jet to make them 60-70 for yourself, okay? So let's get right into defense. What is your objective as a defensive jet? So your job as a defensive jet is basically to pick and prod into the enemy's offensive strategy. So the, when the round starts and you're on defense, I like to pop my tailwind, take an early peek, get a pick, and then dash right out, okay? Goal is to get one pick and then dip. One and out, <laughs> okay? However, if you want to go for more, you can. However, Jed also has the ability to be one of the most proficient operators in the game, okay? So Jed, if he wants to take a little peek, get one, and pop right out, okay? Or Jed has the ability to pop, re-engage with the cloud burst, and then dash right out, okay? That's a simple, that's like just a basic kind of jet move you can do on defense. But that's basically the main routine most jets do at a very high level on the PC stage. And it's definitely something that can be carried over onto the console stage. So on defense, your objective is basically to disrupt the timing of the defensive strategy setup, okay? So let's just say I have a person on my right and I have a left, okay? You have two things. You can wide swing like a bronze iron jet, or you can use your bloody util, okay? So what I like to do is dash, throw a cloud burst, dash into my smoke, and then I have my team um, follow behind me. While I'm in my cloud burst, I pop, I'm in, I peek, get my kill, and then I make sure I clear up the, the, these objectives. Like, my goal is to pretty much check corners when I entry as a jet, okay? And the same thing goes down, like, down here. So, like, if you already clear that, Pop right in. Clear that. Another strategy you can do, and if you don't feel comfortable like dashing in, you can just place a cloud burst on the ground and then clear this. Okay. So throw a cloud burst on the ground. Clear that kill. And then swing here. Okay. It's a very simple low level tech. But it's a very efficient thing to block the enemy sights. Make sure Jet doesn't have a you don't have a clear line of sights when it comes to enemies engaging you. Like your first thing to do is to make sure these gunfights are not fair for the opposing defensive team. Okay, like that. My swing here. Damn, damn. Okay, or I can go. Damn, engage here. Get the kill. And even if you are on the other side of this, uh, on ascent, you can block here. You can block here. Clear this. And go right in, okay? Nothing changes. Like, your role as a jet, even when it comes to offense and defense, is to make these gunfights unfair. And hopefully this is like, even though this is pretty low level tech, this is still like... A lot of these pro jet players do this a lot, and it really just shows. Like, if you pull up Tarek, or you pull up Ye, or you pull up Demon One, a lot of these players use this tech to clear corners and stuff. Now we're on, we're done defense. Now let's get to offense. This is where Jet should be shining. Okay, Jet's role on offense is basically to create area for your team, and that's pretty much it. And get and frag out. Okay. This is why there's a simple term called brain dead duelist, okay? All your your goal as a jet is to pop the smoke and pop right into you and then engage, okay? While your other your team behind you floods in with you, okay? Your goal is to create space, okay? Like we don't want five people flooding in at different corners 
and people are going to have a hard time struggling with that. However, if you're playing Jet, now they have to worry about here and they have to worry about here, okay? So you're just adding a little bit more difficulty when it comes to the defensive hold. This doesn't really change for most maps. I'm just using a Ascent as an example. But this bare minimum like template of how you play is always a good idea, okay? Your goal is to clear space. Your goal is the first one to check corners, okay? If you're not checking corners and your teammate gets killed by a corner you did not check, you're, I'm going to be angry, okay? As a person who's mostly an initiator who likes to set up my duelist. Let's just say I'm going to be angry, okay? Okay, let's just say the bomb's been planted, okay? It's as simple as that. My goal is the jet. It depends on the scenario. I should be out here, maybe engaging into gunfights. Or if I'm low on my team, my team's low, we're f we could be five stacking a sight. You should be the first one to engage while your other teammates are holding other angles for you. You have you as a jet need to be calling out what you're doing and what you're doing before you do it, okay? Another aspect that jet players really don't actually do and I think we should be teaching our people who want to play jet is communicate to your team because this is a team-based game. You can't solo 1v5 every round. Communicate to your team that what you're going to do each round, okay? You want to mix it up sometimes, ready? So like, if I'm going round after round and I'm jumping into my cloud burst, eventually I'm going to get punished for that. So what I can do is get ready. Bam. And I'm ready to counterattack them super quickly, okay? Like your role as a jet is to make sure you're not predictable, but also to gather information for your team. And so when they funnel to this zone, because you have the movement, they don't. You're going to punish the opposing team for not having a proper setup or wasn't expecting your movement. Okay. So again, another maybe another objective were a couple of rounds in a row. You jump into the cloud burst, but the opposing team has a cypher and they're ready for it. So a move you can do is bam, bam. And you're right onto site. And the same thing applies to when you're on the other, uh, even on the other sites or any bomb site in the world. Like if you constantly go to the smoke and going in, getting your kills, and your team is trading you, that's going to get predictable once in a while. So maybe an interesting strategy you can do as a jet main is to combine your updraft and your dash. Okay. A lot of pro players on PC like to go here. And go up and your back site and you're causing chaos. There's usually going to be one or two people on site, but your teammates should be behind you and they should be covering your uh, back. OK, again, this stuff like this, a lot of this stuff is not going to be effective if you're not going to communicate to your team. OK, so if you tell your teammate, I'm going to draft, I'm going to updraft and dash onto the generator on the left hand side on uh, ascent a main or a bump site. Communicate that. So maybe they can throw a recon dart right here for you. And so when you go, basically, bam. I mess it up, but and then bam, 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 bam. Okay. So just to recap on offense, you create space, you communicate with your team what you're doing. You want to be you don't want to do too many things in a row to be predictable. And you want to adjust, okay? Sometimes you don't want to go straight into mid. Or sorry, straight into site. Sometimes you want to control mid area. Sometimes you want to be flexible. Maybe get for go for a pick, regroup with your teammate, and then hit a site together. Okay. This game is all about planting the bomb, making sure the bomb plants, or killing the opposing team before they kill you. Okay. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below and comment what agent should I do next. And in the meantime, hope everybody has a wonderful time. And thank you much so, so far for all the support that has been recently been happening in the last couple of days. Okay. Peace out.